Welcome back. I'm Erica Sargent. And I'm Brad Edwards. If you flipped over early for Colbert, you're just in time for an eyebrow raising story you'll see only here. It's about a man named Alan Matthews, a longtime nursing home resident we first told you about a couple weeks ago. His cousin came to us after finding out Matthews was months overdue for his second COVID vaccine. Since then, we've learned he's likely not the only one. CBS 2 political investigator Dana Kozlov reveals no one is really keeping track of vaccinating our most vulnerable. I don't know if he's the only patient or one of many patients that haven't gotten a second shot. That was Cheryl Bellamy Bonner's concern after this letter from the Illinois Department of Public Health flagged her that her cousin, Alan Matthews, had only gotten one COVID vaccine shot. It made me wonder how many more Allens may be out there. I believe that your case is probably not an isolated case. Infectious disease specialist Dr. Alexander Stemmer is the medical director for a group of symphony nursing homes in Indiana. He says one problem is nursing homes don't have access to new patients vaccination data. But we found no one is tracking nursing home vaccinations either. The nursing homes are expected to do it themselves by providing the information to the Centers for Disease Control every week. And according to the CDC's website, almost a third or 31 percent of Illinois nursing homes are not doing that. I can't speak to why some of these facilities don't have it up now. Dr. Ngaze Azike stopped short of criticizing those non-compliant facilities, but adds IDPH will soon launch a link listing vaccination rates by specific homes. And so that, you know, if the vaccination rate looks a little bit low, you know, can double check, you know, did my loved one get both vac vaccines? It, it, it eats away at you. We can do better. The AARP's Al Hollenbeck says the Delta variant raises the stakes even more for these vulnerable residents, adding the low staff vaccination rates and flatline vaccinations across the board only add to the threat. In terms of who's responsible for that, it's the county health departments and the state. Department of Public Health. And the question is, can you mandate vaccines? And that conversation is growing. More than 100,000 federal VA health care workers now need to be vaccinated, and some private health care systems are requiring the same. Governor J.B. Pritzker says he's reviewing options as well. Outside the Thompson Center, Dana Kozlov, CBS2 News.